agricultural news from agview.net. Even though the first trade deal with China has been signed, Ag Secretary Sonny Perdue says he still expects U.S. farmers to get a third round of 2019 trade aid payments. USDA hasn't officially announced if and when the farmers would get those payments, but Perdue said the move is still waiting for approval from the White House Office of Management and Budget. He says the agreement will not interfere with the final round of trade assistance that payments were made under the Market Facilitation Program. The U.S. government instituted that aid program as the trade war with China escalated and the Asian country implemented retaliatory tariffs on American farm goods. The first round of payments was issued last fall, as you recall. A second round come in the winter. And Purdue uh, did say that farmers sh should not expect new assistance this year beyond the $28 billion that was previously appropriated. The administration wants to begin phase two of those trade talks with China as soon as possible. And President Trump has even said he's willing to travel to China if that would help get them going. Well, farm lending activity dropped for a second consecutive quarter at commercial banks at the end of last year. A reduction in non-real estate farm lending, particularly those for operating loans, the primary contributor to a reduced volume of loans at banks with portfolios that do concentrate heavily on agriculture. Those declines came along with additional reduction in production expenses, but reduced loan demand likely was also due to an increase in revenue from those government payments were connected to the, the trade dispute that we just talked about. Now, following average annual growth of more than 10% in 2017 and 2018, several quarters of sharp increases, lending activity concentrated in the second half and contracted a year later. Now, 5% lower in 2019 than 2018. Despite decreasing from a year ago, farm lending volumes remain higher than the 20-year average. The total volume of non-real estate loans averaged about $90 billion in 2019. That's about 8% above the average number if we go all the way back to 1999. And the United States, European Union, and Japan have proposed new global trade to curb illegal subsidies they say are distorting the worldwide economy, with China being the clear target. After a meeting in Washington recently, the Japanese economic minister Hiroshi Kayama, U.S. Trade Representative Robert Lighthizer, and EU Trade Commissioner Phil Hogan said in a joint statement that existing World Trade Organization rules were insufficient to tackle market distortions from subsidies. The three countries intend to bring their proposal before the greater WTO body and see what happens. It's Ag News. Stay with us. We'll have more coming up.